Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, I, this is a reply to a comment that I saw in one of my videos. About, uh, he, the, they asked, how do you pack a knapsack? Well, the answer is, there is no wrong way to pack a knapsack. It is all, what are you willing to carry? So, but I can show you an idea of how to pack it. Um, I do have a brand new uh, federal issue double bag knapsack. Um, this is a new one. I just got this a couple days ago. Um, so let's start over here. Of course, fold it open. What you want between your bags is you want your wool blanket. It's pretty so that's pretty common. Okay, you got your wool blanket right there. First bag. Now this is what I do. So this is not really an official way how to do this. Um, right here. You have your stuff like your clothing. Um, miscellaneous stuff. Uh, shaving supplies or hygiene stuff. This is the shaving soap. Uh, tooth powder. The uh, badger bristle br uh, shaving brush. Of course, a razor. And the miracle that I really think needs to be mentioned, Civil War era deodorant. And, and also anti-chafe powder. This is a, this is a lifesaver. I would highly recommend getting it. Of course, handkerchief. A pair of wool socks, an extra pair of wool socks, an extra shirt, and another and a pair of drawers. And you can also put like say a deck of playing cards in there. So the idea is you want to carry as much stuff as possible but you also want it to be light because you are going to be walking around for about 30 miles with this on your back so the less stuff the better only take what you need okay now I'm sure I can put other stuff in the in there too like some dice um, some soap a mirror, a little pocket mirror, and maybe a few poke sacks, but anyway, and over here on the back part, the part that's the part that's furthest from your back is what I usually carry in here. Come on. It is my shelter half. This is half of a tent. And I don't know how I don't have all the stuff that goes in it with it. I just need to get the uh, poles and stakes and the ropes and that's it. Um, this top part right here is now I've seen a lot of reenactors put their blankets on here but that's not actually what that's for that's actually for a great coat oh. so if you see someone wearing like a, a quilt on there that's not correct another thing I've seen a lot of reenactors do this and this is a pet peeve of mine to hang your mucket off one of these straps there's a reason why I hate that when you're marching, 
all you can hit, oh, and that thing is hitting up against any of these pieces, it's going to make a noise. It's going to make a big clanking noise, and it's going to give you away. Okay? So if I'm an enemy soldier, and I hear clanking, I'm just going to shoot you. Okay? I'm just going to shoot whatever making that noise. Okay? Because I can hear you, pretty much hear you coming from a mile away. So, what you... So the best place to put your haversack is inside, or the best place to put your tin cup is inside your haversack. Okay? And I will make a video about how, how to pack a, a haversack uh, in an upcoming video. So, until then, uh, keep reenacting. And if you like my videos, please press that like button. That would be appreciated. And if you have any comments, that's there's a comment selection or a comment section below. That's pretty much what it's there for. Um, if you want to suggest, if you want to leave suggestions, go ahead. I take criticism very well. And well, that's it. So until next time, keep reenacting.